everybody, I'm Will, and welcome to Venture to Rome. Today, I'm really excited because we're gonna hear from some of my very favorite overlanding YouTube creators. We have teamed up, and we're all gonna offer our different opinions on kitchen gear. The things that we use, the things that we love, and so you're gonna hear from me, you're gonna hear from all things overlanding, you're gonna hear from overlanding AZ, you're gonna hear from uh, Ozark overlanding adventures, and you're gonna hear from Fries on the Side. Those are four of my very favorite creators, so let's get started. So the first thing I wanna to talk to you about is just how we pack our kitchen. I love our DeWalt packing system. Let me take you through it, it's really great. So what we use to, for our kitchen storage is the DeWalt T-Stack toolbox system. What we have is kind of like one big bin and then one sliding drawer. The drawer on the bottom slides out, that's where we keep all of our utensils, our spices, our kind of cooking utensils, so spatulas and anything else we might need to actually cook the food. And then inside the big bin is all of our plates, our bowls, our, our coffee, so the stuff that we make coffee with, frying pans, we have two frying pans in there, our stock pot. And so all that stuff fits in this one bin and it's really easy and accessible to get in and out of. So love that, highly recommend that or something like that for your kitchen gear. Okay, so the next thing I wanna tell you about is our Jetboil Genesis stove. Look, this is a luxury item, this was expensive. This costs like, 300 plus dollars for a stove. Our first stove was like 20 bucks on sale at Fred Meyer. This one is totally different. And here's what we love about it. We love that number one, it folds into the clamshell and it fits into one of our DeWalt boxes. The other thing that we love is when it opens up, there's no attached windscreen. So you can really fit two full-size frying pans. Sometimes we do a grill, we put over one burner and then we have like a sauce or something cooking in the, in the frying pan next to it. With the other stoves, there was never enough room, or if they made them bigger, then they became these kind of monster size. The third thing that we love about this Jetball Genesis is the flame regulation. It's almost like cooking at home. Kate and I tend to be a little bit on the foodie side of things when we go camping. We really love trying to make high quality, sometimes complicated dishes. You can really dial it in, you can simmer. It's not just like, cold and scorched, which was our experience with other camp stoves. This one really lets us be able to finely tune that flame and that heat when we're cooking. So for us, it was a luxury buy, but we use it every time we go out and we have often looked at each other and said, you know what, I'm glad we bought this stove. The next thing that I wanna share with you is something that Kate and I just got, but we're really loving it. Check it out. It's the GSI Outdoors Collapsible Stock Pot and Frying Pan Combo. Look at how small this packs down. This is a stock pot, a lid, and a frying pan all in one, and it fits into our kitchen box so easily. So this just pops off the back. This is the frying pan, plenty, plenty big for cooking eggs or whatever you might do at camp. Um, and then it's got, a, it's got a handle that attaches. It's in our, it's in our kitchen drawer. And then this thing, is like a legit stock pot. So check this out. It just pops down and then it's a stock pot. I mean, uh, you can get a lot of stuff in here. And we also use it for a salad bowl when we're making salad so we don't have to carry an extra thing in our, in our gear. Um, so we had a classable stock pot from Sea to Summit, I believe, and we loved it. Um, however, it was a little bit too small and the lid was plastic and it got broken inside our, um, our kitchen box. So this thing has a metal lid, it's aluminum I think, it's very, very light with a strainer on it that you can see there. And on the bottom it also has uh, this, this ring that keeps the flame, keeps the heat from the flame right on there so it, it gets things hotter faster and keeps them hotter longer. And then it's just got a ton of volume um, for making soups, making, I think Kate made chili mac in this, um, like we said, salads, we make a ouzo soup, all kinds of stuff. Um, and so we've probably used it five or six times since we got it. And, and so far we're just really, really loving it. So that is the GSI Outdoors stock pot and frying pan combo. Loving this. Okay, so the last thing I wanna share with you is something we use almost every time we cook. It helps us clean the dishes. It's from MSR, and it's this little dish scraper. It is incredible. We have nonstick pans, and whenever we try to use a scraper or a scrubber, it kind of damages the pan and doesn't really get it that clean to begin with, and then it's kind of hard to clean up afterwards. So this thing, 
is basically it's a piece of plastic and it's got a nice edge on it and that edge takes off like 90% of the grime. And then on the other side, it has these short but really stiff bristles and I tell you what, those things scrub off everything else. So between the scraper and the little scrubber on the other side, it it cleans better than like anything even in our kitchen at home. It's it's amazing. So I don't know even know how much it costs, but it was worth it because now we can get our dishes, especially like our frying pans after we've made, you know, sauces or or steak or something that might get kind of crusty in there. This just gets it off, gets it clean. We can cook again in the next night at camp, no problem. So we're using it every time we go out and we love it. Next, you're gonna hear from Josh over at Overland AZ. Now, Josh has been doing overlanding for a while with his family, so I'm really interested in how he sets his kitchen up and what he has to recommend for you. Hey guys, Josh here with Overland AZ, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at five of our favorite camp kitchen accessories that we take with us on every single trip. Now, our camp kitchen has evolved over the years to be lighter, more compact, and more efficient for us, and we're gonna take a look at our favorites that we're using right now. At number five is our food grade squeeze bottles. These are great for holding oils, condiments, and other liquids that you keep with you in your camp kitchen. They're easy to clean, dishwasher safe, and they don't leak on the trail. At number four is our Cleverona nonstick pan. We love how easy this is to clean. It has great heat transfer. It's really lightweight and it's compact. Our favorite thing is that the handle's removable, so it fits really well into our storage container. At number three is our partner steel stove. We've had a number of different cooking stoves over the years, anything from Coleman dual burners to propane grills. And our partner steel, we love how hot it gets. It's very efficient. It's easy to hook up to our five pound propane tank. All the parts on it are serviceable and you can easily take it apart for cleaning. At number two is our Tough Stuff Overland 12 volt fridge. We love how much space this gives us. We don't need to carry ice on the trail, which means we don't get a watery mess in all of our food at the end of a long week or weekend. It's also really great if you have kids. It's super easy to throw some bottles of milk, some snacks, sandwiches, whatever you wanna take along with you, even if you're just going for a day trip. And finally, at the number one spot is our Outback Adventure Products tailgate table. We love how compact this is. It's always available for us on the back of our tailgate. It's super easy to use and it has no rattles while we're out on the trail. It's great to fold down quickly and make sandwiches when you stop for lunch, or you can throw your stove on it and slide out the cutting board and prep for a big dinner. Well guys, there you have it. That is our top five favorite things that we keep in our camp kitchen and use every single time we go out. Now, if you're just getting started out, don't feel like you need to have all this stuff. This is the culmination of years and years of us going out and refining our setup and changing how we're doing this. Really all you need is a pan, a heat source, and a cooler to keep your food. And you can go out and you can make great camp meals and you can use utensils from home and you can bring plates and silverware from home. And over time, as you figure out what works for you, you're gonna evolve as well and you're gonna change the items that you bring with you and you might pick up some new gear along the way. I hope you enjoyed our camp setup. If you did, please head over to our YouTube page, youtube.com slash overlandaz. Take a look around, and if you enjoy our content, please consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the trail. Now we're gonna hear from Matt over at Ozark Overlanding Adventures. Matt and Kara have a channel that's been growing like crazy lately based on their overlanding adventures and their overlanding lifestyle, and they both have just really big, warm, dynamic personalities. So I can't wait to hear Matt tell us about his kitchen gear. Hey everyone, I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures. And if you've seen any of our trip videos, you know that we love to cook great food at camp. I love to cook at home, but I really, really love cooking food at camp. I don't know what there is about it, just being outdoors, just being around nature and Cooking incredible meals at camp is just something really special to me. And we have cooked some pretty epic meals. Now we definitely do a lot of the typical, you know, good ribeye steak with some vegetables at camp, but we've also made things like lasagna and shrimp pasta and of course fajitas. We've had hibachi at camp before. Tons of epic meals that we have had at camp. 
I'm kind of the oddball of the group because I used to drive a Wrangler for a long time and got really used to cooking out of the back of it, had my whole kitchen set up, dialed in, had the tailgate table that you flip down to, to cook on and stuff. But I have just recently moved to a new 2021 Gladiator Rubicon. I've got three inches of lift. I've got 37 inch tires on it. And this is a whole new world for me, figuring out how to live out of the back of a truck. And the first thing that we have done is put the mountain hatch tailgate table on the back. Now this thing is awesome because it basically turns your tailgate into one big cutting board and gives you a nice smooth flat surface. If you take this off, you've got all the ridges and stuff in there, but having this on there basically turns your tailgate into your kitchen. And I absolutely love this. It's crazy handy. I can have my, my stove set up here. I can do all my prep work here. It's got a cup holder, um, but this mountain hatch tailgate table, if you've got a truck, this thing is awesome. The second thing, and I've been running some sort of fridge for years, but a fridge is so much better than an ice chest when you're out spending multiple days off the grid, overlanding, car camping, whatever you want to call it. A fridge is a game changer because you don't have to deal with ice. You don't have to deal with soggy food. You don't have to deal with any of that. You just get nice cold food. You do have to deal with a little bit of power management, but that's actually not that big of a deal. But a fridge to me is a must. And I have been running a Dometic for a long time. I've tested other fridges, but this is my new Iceco VL75 Pro. And it is my first real dual zone fridge that I have run. I can put this front compartment and set it as a freezer if I need to, you know, to keep food colder longer when we're out on the trail. Um, if I want to take ice cream or popsicles or anything like that, I can take that with me. And then the other one I can set as the fridge or I can set them both as freezer sections or I can set them both as refrigerator sections depending on what my needs are. And I think that's awesome. And one thing I love about this Iceco is that the lids open on both sides. You don't have to deal with taking it apart and flipping the lids around. I love that fact. And it is so far been very high quality and it doesn't break the bank for a 75 liter dual zone and i love it and i think it looks great too but fridge must i don't care what brand get a fridge as far as what i like to cook on we also have the jet bowl genesis system that will talked about at the beginning of this video it is fantastic folds up really nice and small but i've got a truck now i don't have to worry about you know fitting things in tiny spaces because I got tons of room and I have really loved this Camp Chef Rainier combo cook stove. I've had this for a number of years. It has the burner on one side. It's got the griddle plate on the other so I can be cooking meats and stuff in here. I can cook pancakes and stuff over here for breakfast, bacon, eggs, whatever. I like having this combo but what I love most about the Camp Chef is that it pairs perfectly with my Coleman folding oven. And if you've not seen one of these, these things are amazing. We started out, you know, cooking some things in a Dutch oven, but we traveled to Colorado a couple years ago and there was a burn ban. So no Dutch ovens, no campfires, got this Coleman folding oven and it has been incredible. So very easily it folds out into this nice little box. I love the fact that the Rainier has this long burner underneath it that helps keeps the temperature nice and steady in here. We've got room in here for a nice nine by nine pan. We have, of course, you know, roasted potatoes and other vegetables and stuff in here. Biscuits, cinnamon rolls. A lot of times I'll make biscuits and gravy at camp, so the biscuits go in here. I'm making the gravy over here. We've done cookies, we've done lasagna, we've done um, cobbler in here. I love, this is, of all the gear and gadgets that we have, if we ever lost this, I would replace this instantly. I love this thing so much. It does really fantastic to have a little oven on the trail with you. The other thing, you know, fancy, super lightweight cookware, 
great if you're backpacking, great if you have a small rig, but nothing beats a good cast iron skillet for cooking your meats, cooking your veggies, cooking all your things in. A good well-seasoned cast iron is fantastic. So love a cast iron skillet. Yes, we've got the, the GSI nonstick. We've got all that stuff, but this is always my go-to. And I don't care what brand, Walmart makes a great one. This is a lodge. Um, I've got one that my wife's mom got from her mother-in-law and it's like ain't so old and it works fantastic and I love it. So this right here is my, anywhere I go, this is going with me camp setup. Love it. And for all of our stuff, we carry a five pound propane tank. I got so sick of dealing with the one pound propane bottles and not knowing exactly how full they were, not knowing how many I would need. And so I would take, you know, three or four with me on a trip. I'd only end up using one of them or I'd use up two of them or I'd only take one on a trip because that last trip I only used one. Then I run out of that one and I don't have any more. So five pound propane bottle is fantastic to have. They got the adapter so you can plug them into your, your, um, your stoves and whatnot. But love having this i don't ever have to worry about it and it's super cheap to refill i can refill this five pound tank for just over five bucks and that's cheaper than a one pound bottle thanks so much for watching me sweat shooting this video in this arkansas humidity i wish i lived up north where it's a little bit cooler like my friends do but uh, it's hot and humid down here but we have a blast and love cooking so hope this information was helpful to you if you have not checked our channel there's a link below and would love to to have you check us out as well and the trips that we go on the meals that we cook the reviews that we do that sort of thing but uh, thanks so much Next, we're going to hear from Fletch over at All Things Overlanding, which is a channel that does podcasts, gear reviews, and adventure videos. So I'm really excited to see what Fletch has put together for this video. Hey everybody, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here. Uh, today I'm super excited to be collaborating with these other guys, kind of talking about our favorite pieces of kitchen gear that we've got. Um, I'm going to run you through my few picks that I've got here. Um, if you have any questions, of course, post up in the comments down below. If you like the content and you want to come hang out, feel free to click through the link to my channel below and subscribe. All right, so my first piece of gear is definitely gonna be my Alpacool 58 quart fridge freezer. This thing is super inexpensive, about $300 is what I paid for it. I've had it for almost a year now. Uh, it's been flawless. I only turn it on when I'm going on a trip. Uh, it does require some sort of power, so be aware that you need some sort of like a deep cycle battery or a you know lithium ion like portable generator style battery that you can run the fridge off of if you're gonna run it for long periods of time. Um, again, in my case, I've got a deep cycle Odyssey AGM battery that I'm using to power the fridge and I've got solar topping that off constantly while I'm out, you know, parked and not moving around. But so the fridge really changes the way that you camp slash overland. So, you know, in the past I would use rotiform coolers, which are still very expensive. I think I had one that was about 120 bucks. A lot of them come in between two and 400 bucks. So for the same money, you don't have to buy ice anymore. You don't have to worry about you know, potential water leaks. You don't have to worry about ruining your food because of a leak in the, the Ziploc bag where your meat or steak is stored, for example. Um, it's just a cleaner alternative and it's just so much more convenient to be honest with you. Especially if you're like a beer drinker like me and you wanna stop off somewhere and you pick up a warm six pack, to not have to worry about you know melting your ice further or putting that heat into the cold cooler system. With a fridge, it's just constantly, you know, cooling things down. So you can throw stuff in there, take it in and out, and it's always going to stay at a consistent temperature. So again, for me, this thing was really awesome, really great for especially longer trips. And that's why I love the idea of a fridge if you have the room for it. Uh, my second thing you can see back here, it's a very overlander-y kind of thing. It's something that people get sometimes just because it looks cool. Mine's kind of hidden on the inside. I don't have it mounted ostentatiously to the outside of the rig or anything. Not against it. I just happen to have room for it in here. Um, I actually sort of mounted mine back behind. I made my own sort of system using D-rings and some straps. Um, I mounted mine back behind the fridge. And the reason for that is I actually have an adapter hose that is about, I think like five feet long, six feet long, something like that. And so it actually runs around the fridge and then I put it through my lashing straps here on the front. So you can see it right there. The cool thing about this is, so you can see my stove is down here. When I pull this out, my regulator is right here on this side. So I can just plug this right in, turn on the switch for the propane to get it running, and I'm cooking. So I like the simplicity of that. I like that I don't have to mess with one pound tanks anymore. A five pound tank honestly lasts me a really long time, probably like a year at a time, and I go quite a bit. Um, 
It's also really inexpensive to fill. It was about two bucks to fill this thing up at a U-Haul near me. Um, so that was really, really nice. And it'll last me again for a really long time. Um, so reduced waste is really nice. Also the convenience of it is really nice. And then again, the fact that it's just right here by my regulator. I don't have to mess with getting stuff in and out of the drawers. I gained some drawer space back by keeping that thing back there. All positive things for me from a camping slash overlanding gear standpoint. Um, and then last but not least, this is my last US Bags Happy Camper is the name of the bag. Um, again, I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check this thing out. This thing is amazing. It is a good size bag. It's got a lot of functionality, a lot of like nice size pockets. This fits my utensil bag perfectly. So I, like all my spatulas and big spoons and cutting board and knives, that sort of stuff all goes in there. Over here, I've got like microfiber towels and just sort of miscellaneous ropes and, and things like that to, you know, hang up pots for drying, that sort of thing. Down here, I've got utensils. So I've got forks, spoons, wooden spoons, all that kind of stuff down here that I can, you know, have easy access to. Then on the back here, in the top compartment, I've got my mess kits, my Yuko wear mess kits that I love. And then in the bottom, I've got a couple of sort of backpacking style pots and pan sets that are tiny, but they fit in here just perfectly. Then the other cool thing about this is you can actually unzip the whole thing and it will fold completely flat. So then there's a big pocket inside here and there's also just room if you have like a cast iron pot or something that you wanted to throw in there, you could do that. You could lay it out on a table so that you get access to both sides of this bag. So you can get to all of your utensils all at once. And the other thing that I really like about it is that it makes it really easy for me to take in and out of my house. So, you know, when I get back from a trip, generally what I do is I throw my dirty pans and pots, if I didn't wash them on site, into like a trash bag and I bring that in to get them washed. And I carry this whole bag inside. Once my dishes are clean, boom, load it right back up, throw it in the back of my truck and I'm ready to go on my next trip. So lots of convenience, really easy to find stuff, really easy to know exactly where all my gear is because they have set spots. Um, also, these are Velcro spots on here so you can remove these tags. You can get custom tags made and put on here so you can customize it for whatever your needs are. Um, so I love this bag, definitely love this bag. So again, fridge, five pound propane tank and my last US bags, happy camper bag. Awesome, awesome kitchen gear and some of my favorite stuff. So hope that was helpful for you. If it was and you want to come hang out and subscribe on my channel, I'd love to have you. There will be a link down in the description below. Thanks to Will for having me on his channel. Okay, last but certainly not least is Matt over at Fries on the Side, which is a new overlanding channel out of Wisconsin where Matt and his family go on overlanding adventures with their Jeep and their teardrop trailer and just seem like really down home, honest people doing awesome adventures. So, so excited that he's involved in this project and cannot wait to see what happens with his channel next. Hi, I'm Matt Fry with Fries on the Side. My family and I here live in Wisconsin and we love the outdoors. We experience the outdoors in our 2012 Jeep Wrangler and teardrop trailer. We share these experiences on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. So be sure to check us out. All right, let's get into it. Kitchen stuff. All right, let's first talk about this table. So this is a Cabela's roll top collapsible kitchen table, if you will. So what I like about it is uh, it does assemble relatively quickly. It is generally compact, uh, relatively speaking. Um, it's made out of aluminum, so it holds up really well. So I like that. Uh, what I don't like about it is that it is pretty wobbly. In fact, it's very wobbly. And then the other piece is that these accordion pieces of aluminum are bungeed together. And I don't know the durability of the bungee. We've had this now for three years. It's been holding up really well. But I have a feeling that that bungee inside eventually will give way and cause issues. So, we, But all in all, we really like this table. All right, so possibly one of my favorite things at camp is coffee. Uh, and that's basically what three out of the other four things on this table are related to. So uh, we'll start with this GSI percolator. So this is a six cup percolator made out of stainless steel. Um, for us, it's, it's absolutely perfect. So it makes just enough coffee for the two of us, um, about a strong three cups or so per person. What also is really nice, it cleans up nice because it's stainless. And because of the low water level, it heats up really fast. Uh, some of the other percolators that we had um, just took a lot longer. And in fact, what I also like about this is the shape of it, uh, just being a straight cylinder. 
um, really helps to compact and find its place and space for it um, in lieu to the bell style if you know what i'm talking about the old bell style um, percolators uh, holds more water puts a lot more coffee out there but it takes a lot more time to heat up so we really like this guy uh, what i don't like about it is it almost heats up too fast so i often have to like slide this off of the heat source and put half the heat source on and turn it down really low on the propane take so we really have to watch this for a low percolation uh, and then the other thing that's um, not ideal is it is only six cups so it's not great but with good coffee and a percolator you have to grind it uh, so we bought this and frankly i don't remember where um, basically it's got like a steel metal up top probably aluminum actually and then a wood walnut top and bottom and handle it actually broke on our last trip uh, so it's not uh, overly useful at this point but what i did like about it i'm looking for replacements so if anyone has any suggestions i'm all ears but the beans that you put in here um, and the beans that you would basically would grind and would fall into this lower piece you could take this off this was like the perfect amount of ground coffee that went into the percolator uh, and the other benefit is there's this little setting at the bottom that you can adjust how coarse you would want your coffee grounds grounded to uh, the only negative is it didn't really pack down the greatest you kind of had to pull this off and a little awkward um, and the other thing that's negative about this one is it's broken but looking for a replacement uh, and then so that one of the solutions that we come up with when we only make six cups of coffee um, often I'm like the first one up so what we end up doing or what I end up doing is making like six cups putting it in a thermos and there's nothing special about the thermos besides just keeping it uh, warm and insulated uh, and then I'll maybe make another batch and I'll drink that batch wait for Andrea to get up um, so we can share some cup of coffee together all right so that's that's coffee Okay, so uh, many of you have seen this. Um, this is a military mess kit. Um, I absolutely love this thing. Oh my gosh, all right. So when I got out of the service uh, about 12 years ago, one of the first things I went to go buy when we went camping was two of these uh, mess kits. Uh, so Andrew and I still have them. They're still in, I mean, if you really look at these things, they're in like awesome shape use them all the time and had them for 12 years made out of stainless steel um, what's nice about it is it breaks down into you know two sections so actually the kids and us we live off of two of these the kids get the small plates and we get this so very generous portions in both of these and we just threw a couple extra silver so when it when you buy this it comes with a fork a knife and an oversized spoon right and then what we did was throw in an extra spoon, an extra fork in both of our sets so we have enough for all the kids. Uh, you can even use this set to cook on. So if you did want to put something in here, you could heat this source up. Um, really awesome, compact. Uh, what I don't like about it, uh, frankly, is that uh, it does make a lot of noise. You can hear me on camera, like it's, it's pretty noisy. So if you you know put this somewhere that you're going to hear it in our case it's in our, our, our teardrop so we don't even know what's going on um, but uh, what we used to do in the service we actually used to stick a like a clean set of socks or fabric or a shirt put it inside of here um, and that'll keep some of the rattling down besides that i love these things uh, I, again i carried it in service and now we we carry it on all our camping trips well that concludes fries on the sides favorite kitchen equipment hope you found it useful i don't know about you but I'm gonna get some coffee. Well, I hope you learned something about kitchen gear. I know I did just watching these guys go through their stuff. And if you haven't seen their YouTube channels yet, go check them out right now. They're really awesome YouTube overlanding channels. And if you haven't subscribed to Venture to Rome yet, now's your chance. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Okay.